Filipino. Where are we? We are in the replica bar Cheers. Yes, which is the replica of Cheers where they had the idea to do Cheers. Apparently, and uh, we've so far bought into it. Uh, we bought, uh, we're going to buy the mugs. We're drinking the beer out of the mugs. I've got like a map which actually has given us an idea of what to do in Boston. Short version is we're going to go to the real Cheers bar tomorrow because it's fucking awesome. It actually turns out a lot of my favourite movies were also in Boston. So we've got the oh, look, you see that they've got a bar over there. Cheers. But they've got the bar over there. Look, this is good enough. It is, it's good enough for me anyway. No, we're going to go to the real one tomorrow. Oh, okay. Fine. And uh, we've ordered some burgers and. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, yes, now we've got some glasses to try and take home in our luggage. Great. Oh, yeah. I didn't think yeah. About it. <laughs> it's very cold in Boston. It's nice out here, though, look. Yeah. We woke up this morning and thinking we could hear uh, wet tarmac and cars going over wet tarmac. And um, I looked out the window and uh, yes, it's because it snowed overnight. So uh, the lovely blue skies of yesterday kind of replaced by this very grey and fuzzy look. Uh, you are looking through a fly screen there, so hang on a sec. Ooh, I got there. So yeah, completely different today. Still people jogging though. God, they're hardcore in this city. Look. Blaston. Blaston! He just fell over. He just fell over. Did he? Yeah, oh, poor yeah. bastard. I feel I should go and offer him to a cup of tea or something, see if he's alright. Did you hear him calling on that? Yeah. He's, I think he just slipped on the edge of the pavement. Okay. Rescind all comments about being hardcore. Now he's double hardcore because he's still walking down the street. He's still he's going to go to another jog after landing on his ass. So you'll have to excuse the mess in the Boston Airbnb as we've been here less than twenty four hours. So obviously we have thrown all our belongings everywhere, um, mostly to try and find all our thermals as it's got quite a lot colder up here. Um, so this bed is what I have to be currently in it. Um, table full of all our crap, bathroom there, front door over there, and pretty much everything else you need. Uh, we got a chance to uh, sit down last night and uh, watch the movie, which was lovely. Nice to have a day off. You've got the beautiful view that I was showing you over here. So yeah, very nice. Just on the north side, overlooking the sea, which is very pleasant. Um, yeah, so we are going to go exploring. We're trying to work out how many layers of everything to wear currently, as it's not looking very nice. And it's not going to be very nice, unfortunately, for most of today. But, hey, y'all. Yeah. This time we are following the Freedom Trail, having purchased this morning the Mustang part I required and some cat food. Uh, we are now following. Uh, the trail, except my hands are quite cold, so this is what we're following. So we need to go over here next. Oh, sorry, I hit you in the head again with my umbrella. So this is the massacre site. We should probably go there and look, look a bit guilty, probably. Yeah. Or. Yes. So we'll do that next. Because the Americans have never massacred anyone. Like they, they learned a lesson. They went, oh, okay, we, we we're not going to become those people, and we're going to become your know, peaceful. Peace loving people. I think we should stop filming. Okay. I'm going. Is you? <laughs> it's still raining. We're kind of doing the Freedom Trail, but only a little bit. 
Mostly because Ant wants to go and buy some shoes and it's going in the right direction. Oh, really? Yeah, mostly going in the right direction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I actually want to do, it's near the shoe shop going to Fenway Park. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. So. Wait, sorry, I've got to take a picture of you. It's the site of the Boston Massacre where some evil British people did something. So, where are we now, Anthony? We're not at the city hall where the departed was shot. We're at some other city hall where some traitors did some stuff. If you get the impression that Anthony is basically being dragged around the Freedom Trail, you might have that right. Freedom! <laughs> yeah, we know a lot about it. <laughs> Look at burn marks, basically. Hence the reason it was known as the White House. Show that no one's as petty as the British when it comes to independence. Nobody's indeed as petty as the British. Nah, you won't have it. We are now being clever clubs over at Harvard. Quite like the guy who's conducting from top of a statue. Why not, eh? What do you think then, Anthony? Are we clever enough to be here? I don't think we're rich enough to be here. <laughs> Dig deep in your pockets. Oh, there he goes, there's Anthony. Oh, slow panoramic. Me. No. Yes. What? There we go, where are we? We're, oh, no. You're not Fenway Park. I'm looking for restaurants. Who there? Harvard Square. <laughs> I'm looking for pubs though. <laughs> okay, Anthony's just looking for pubs. I have bought myself a thing of beauty. It has cards and um, bows and lots of bells. It's so Christmassy. It hurts. Hello! So today, it's our final day of the holiday, we are in Salem. So we've driven over here uh, in a hard car that we picked up. Here's the hard car. Cheapest one we can find. It's actually come from North Carolina, which is slightly strange, but whatever. Um, yesterday we went to Portland, um, we went to see two of our friends, um, oh, Anthony has been to uh, the Fenway Park today yeah. and got a Boston thingy top, um, but yes we went to Portland yesterday uh, which is a lovely little town actually, lovely seaside town up in Maine, uh, it just took no video whatsoever because it seemed a bit rude, we haven't seen these guys for like five years so we left the camera behind and then we had a lovely uh, drive down the coast so we thought we'd keep the car, drop it off at the airport and come to Salem. Um, it is raining again, yesterday was snowy, um, today's just actually cold. Um, so yes, so uh, we're here. Let's see what we can find with the witches. So we're a bit disappointed the Pirate Museum is closed until next season, yeah. but we have found that the, we could see some live spells performed by practicing witches or not. So we're going to have a quick wander around this bit, which I think is the memorial site. I think where they basically... <laughs> I like it. Can we get in this way? Oh no, hang on, I think, I think it's back the other way. I don't know where we're going. There's another house, an old house, probably had a witch in it. Well, it's got a little uh, thingy. So this is basically the place where pretty much some poor bastards got killed for doing nothing. Because it's Manchester by the sea. If you see one movie this holiday period, apart from Rogue One, or The Arrival, or that one with The Rock, see Manchester by the Sea. A heartwarming tale of a small shitty kid in the projects 
who moves to a really nice really fishing nice. village. Like, just complaining genuinely about nice. <laughs> Look at this. Complaining <laughs> Moves in with his uncle, who's a cleaner, who becomes a male prostitute, and then becomes president of the United States of America. Don't think you were following <laughs> the plot. Pretty sure that was the plot. I'm not sure it was the plot. I want to have grown up here. This is everything you see in the movies. It's like a nice sleepy town. It's like a. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.